Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, one last problem exactly I'm going to go over, and then I'll, uh, I'll go over one last thing exactly for on your homework that we need to do. But ladies and gentlemen, so to go back again and remind, remind ourselves how to go and simplify, whenever we're going to apply operations with radicals, add, subtract, multiply, divide, the first thing we want to do is simplify. Always want to make sure we're simplifying. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel again on how to simplify, but what we notice is each one of these, we cannot add or subtract them unless they are exactly the same. right? Unless I'm taking the square root of the exactly the same number, I cannot add or subtract these. So, excuse me, what I want to do is simplify them. And the way to simplify them is exactly what Angela said, is to find the largest square number that I can rewrite as a product with the large square number of these numbers. Yes? Can I tell you what to write so I can see if I got it? Sure. Right? All right. So you can do 3, and then inside the parentheses, uh, square root of 4 times 3. OK. And you're going to do 4, and then inside the parentheses, you're going to do uh, square root of 24 times 2. And then you're going to do, in parentheses, 36. OK, the one change I would do, 24 times 2 is, so now we look at this. 4 is perfect, because that's a square number, right? Square root of 4 is 2. This is perfect. Square root of 36 is 2. Now, there's nothing wrong with 40, 24 times 2, because we can simplify still 24 times 2. However, let's take a look at this. Is there another square number, though, that divides into 48? You could do 16 times 3, and that's what I would prefer to do, because then you if you do 16 times 3, you only need to do it once. But 24, you need to simplify again. So it's just doing more work on your own. So do you guys understand how all three of these have a square number that divides into their number? All right. And I, what I did is I just rewrote them as the product. So now what I do is I take the square root of the square numbers. So it's 3 times 2, square root of 3, plus 4 times 4, square root of 3, minus 6 times square root of 3. So you guys see how when you have a square number, you can take the square root of it, right? And that's very, very helpful, all right? Just have a seat down there, please. Thank you. So now what we can do is 3 times 2 is 6, square root of 3, plus 16, square root of 3, minus 6, square root of 3. Now we just follow order of operations. Add and subtract from left to right. 6 plus 16 is going to be 22, minus 6 is going to be 16 squared of 3. OK? So the main important thing, guys, whenever you're abstract, multiply, divide, is simplify your problems as much as possible, then carry out the operation. And remember, for addition or subtraction, you can only carry out addition or subtraction when your radicals are exactly the same. All right?